So, this is the llama that I painted. And it's hard to get it all in the picture because it's 16 by 20 canvas and it was very hard to paint. Because I didn't use an easel, I was just using a table. And yeah, I think it turned out pretty good though for what I was doing. And be happy, be bright, be you. And make sure to smile while you still have teeth because life is short. Inspirational words of the day. Okay, so this next one is one I saw on another art YouTuber I watch, Megan Weller, or Wheeler, I don't know. But basically, you write out a name, or a word, whatever you want, but I'm going to write out a name. So you write out a name, then you cut it out, and it's supposed to make like a, kind of like an alien thing. So, yeah, I guess we're just gonna do it. So let's start. So, you have to fold it. Don't fold it this way. Long ways. Fold it like width way. And you just fold it. It doesn't really have to be. Perfect, and it clearly isn't because I'm horrible at folding. Right, that's a little bit. So, what you do is actually, you know what? I'm just gonna move this for a second. And so, with your crease side down, you write your name big so that it like fills the whole area. Um, I'm just gonna do Kenzie for now. I'm not gonna do my full name because that might be a little too big. So we'll just do Kenzie. And you can do it cursive or just write it out however you want it. Bubble letters, whatever you want. Doesn't matter. And it's alright if it doesn't fill up the whole paper. And it's okay if it's messy handwriting too, because that just makes it look even better. So now, what you want to do is get scissors. And you can get smaller scissors than these, but these are the only ones I could find. And if you have extra like I do, you just like cut that off. You don't need that. So now you just go around the top, cutting around the top, and you want to leave some area around it, because you don't want it to, no, I already know what I'm talking about, so you probably won't know. <laughs> So now it should look something like this. Then you want to go down the bottom and cut out around. But you want to make sure you don't get rid of all of the crease, otherwise, you know, half of your alien will not be attached, and you don't want that. So, just, you know, I cut. And do like in between. As well. 
and you don't want to cut all the letters because I don't want to look as good. So I'm going to get to That doesn't have to be a name. You can use any word at all, pretty much. So I'm a professional paper cutter here. So if you're doing a letter with like a space in the middle, you can go like this and cut a little space. It would obviously be easier if the space was bigger. It's very small, but that's all right. So, so now that you have your alien, all cut it out. Just do that. Okay, that turned out really good. And then you just want to pick like whatever side you want to do it. Um, I think I'm gonna go like this side. Yeah, we'll do this side. So now you get your piece of paper or for me, I'm going to be just using my sketchbook. Ooh! Yikes, did not mean to do that. Okay. So now, you take your alien, just try to flatten it out as best you can. Um, you can, like, use something to hold it down. So now what you want to do is trace it out, like all the little holes in the outline and everything. So I think I'm just going to speed this part up so I'm not going to talk. So just watch and see how we do it.
Okay, the next idea is a doodle art. And I am going to give you an example of what you can do, but you can just do any type of doodling you want. I'm using this uh, black brush marker, but you can use a Sharpie or a pencil or whatever. So, you start by making a curved diagonal line from this corner to this corner, or you can go from this corner to that corner. So, you just, you know, make it go all the way down. It's not supposed to be straight, so any way you make it is fine. Oh, and also the last clip you just saw, and this is filmed with a new tripod I have so it's gonna look different from the beginning of the video so now that you have this line you can just draw dots wherever you want along the line sorry if you hear my dog in the background Okay, so now that you have those dots, oh, I'm also gonna put one up here. So basically, you just make curved lines from dot to dot. And you can do it on the other side. Okay, and then you keep doing that, and once you're done that, I'm just going to skip ahead real quick. So once you're done that, you make other lines, and this doesn't have to be from corner to corner. If you want, you can do that, but I'm just going to make like a line here, and continue that line, and make it go up here. And you just keep making lines and put dots on them as you did the other one. And then you just keep going like that until you fill the whole page. And I'm gonna um, let you watch me do that. Then when we come back, um, we'll just keep going. Okay, so once you have it like this, and there's spaces like this, you just put a bunch of curved lines to fill it. It doesn't have to be um, the same way you made these. You just gotta fill it, or not, it doesn't matter, but I'm gonna fill it. And you can also color it 
after if you wanted. I'm not going to. But you could. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I did record a outro previous to right now, so I am currently in the editing stage recording a voiceover for this. If you did end up liking this video, make sure to hit the like button. If you haven't already, subscribe and comment down below if you liked this video and if it your boredom at least for a little bit during this time uh, hope you guys enjoyed it Make sure to enjoy the rest of the video